Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. We're back with another Dire Chasm release for Warhammer Underworlds. At this point, I feel like I'm suffering from Pokemon Syndrome in that I gotta catch them all. I did almost catch them all, except I still don't have the Vampire Quartz, at least at the time that I filmed this. I have just about every single Warband still painted, um, bar a few. And I know that I'm still working on one of them at the moment, but overall, I got a pretty good track record so far with Warhammer Underworlds. In fact, I think I've probably got a better track record of painting Warbands than I have of actually playing the game. That's really sad, but uh, it is what it is, and we will deal with it. So, Kanan's Reapers is the OCR Bone Reaper set. We have... A happy grinning gooey bone reaper, Binar Kenta. This dude right here, that's what it's all about. That's the model I want. The rest of them are just like extra fluff. I don't know what's up with his pose as he cocks his head thinking he's all bad. Like, Look at me, I'm so cool. They are kind of cool though. I like the Ossiarch stuff. I would like more weird bone constructs like the big Thunderball Fist Harvester thing with the crotch head. I like that model. Well, our Reaper friend is suitably large, that's for sure. He looks bigger than the Soul Masons, or whatever they were called, that I know I have built a couple of. If you've never seen these Warhammer Underworld sprues, I, I don't know what to tell you, because at this point you can literally check my channel for just about every single one of them. Uh, but they are two half sprues, the whole one being about the size of a traditional... GW box of plastics. Everything is molded in their own color, and everything is supposed to be quote unquote push fit. We'll see if that's actually the case. It should be. I like the sword and the sand here. None of skulls to collect for the bone tithe, though. That's what these guys are all about. The bone tax. Interesting, he's got a scabbard with him on his back. On the plus side, these guys should paint up pretty easily. I've painted enough of them. I did actually paint the entire starter box. It wasn't a starter. Limited edition box that uh, the original Bone Reapers got released in with the Ogres. I still haven't painted the Ogre Tyrant, but everything else in that set was painted. Which is pretty good for me. So, uh, yeah. Looks like a nice set. 40 millimeter base, whereas you get five other guys on 25 millimeters. I don't know how hot they're going to be in terms of combat or performance, but we'll find out. So the cards are wrapped up like the recent releases, where everything is just all cardboard and shrink wrapped with the directions. So that's nothing new. It seems to be the whole way we've seen them with Direchasm at this point. So give me a sec. I'm going to go clip these guys, put them all together. We'll grab a few other Bone Reapers while we're at it and see how everybody turns out and stacks up. Sit tight. Okay, we've got our Warband all put together here. And honestly, I hate to say it, but they feel kind of inconsequential compared to Kanan himself. So first we've got our halberd carrying leader type dude. I, I don't even know their names. Now, be aware, I didn't realize there was actually supposed to be a peg for his foot underneath that cape. I cut it off and I need to clean the cape a little bit better there. And then the remains that the bird is picking at actually are supposed to slot in to the eye socket of that, or no, just the hole in that skeleton there. He's coming down the steps. Hey, everybody! It's Dr. Nick Riviera. I like him. I actually do. But, like I said, Kanan just kind of steals the show. He's so happy to see us. Well, yay! Hi, everybody! They're so happy and jovial. Ready to share the fun of Nagash. I don't know, where is my actual... Somewhere around here I have a painted Osiarch warrior. There he is. I feel like these guys have a little bit more armor. Eh, I guess not. It does feel a little bit bigger. Maybe his base is larger. It is. That could be part of it. He also has that scabbard on his back, whereas the regular guy does not. 
Nothing on the back sides. We'll set him over there with them. We've got our Mace Equip Warrior. I did not really do a good job of closing these all off. They are push fit, and I just didn't feel like pushing them all the way. I don't know if any other Bone Reaper guys have maces. I feel like they don't. Maybe it's just me. One thing I'm pretty sure I don't remember seeing are archers. Age of Sigma proper players. Do you guys know? Do they have archers? I can't think of any. And I know the two-handed blades are a special weapon choice for the Bone Reapers. I think you only get like one per box or something like that. So it is kind of nice to have that included as well. Whoa, but like I said, the real star of the show is our Reaper friend Kanan here. He just looks cool. And he's huge. He's huge even by GW standards. He's taller than an ogre. Here, what about a... Even a proper underworld ogre. He's still bigger. And yeah, I guess he has a little micro millimeter since, you know, he isn't fully on his base. Almost as big as a troll. That's nuts. Um, he's just got presents. I mean, this is a bad looking model. I, I feel like you could probably get away with using him in all sorts of other games and systems. He just looks cool. And yeah, you get a whole warband of little happy OCR Bone Reaper guys to hang out with him too. What fun! And actually, that's not really a bad deal. I mean, they're just all kind of incidental, but I'm, I'm really curious to see how they play because it looks like Kanan has a whole lot more wounds and can take a lot more punishment than these guys can, but I didn't really bother to look at their cards either, so that, that might not be the most helpful. With our Witch Hunter friend here, like I said, you can definitely see he is an impressive looking boss type dude. How impressive? Well, if we grab some other Underworlds biggins. Slangor, one of the worm spat, even an iron jaw. They all just kind of skulk under this dude's shadow. You know he's going to be collecting that bone tide. Let me get some coffee there. Oh, well, not as big as an avatar from Conquest, but hey, maybe they can be best buds, you know? They look friendly. Grabbing a couple other Underworlds Warhammer models. In case you guys are curious, here, let's get one of the actual Bone Reapers with a normal human, quote unquote, the peak pinnacle human. Actually, that's one of the female Argonites from the Zinchian set, and another of the Daughters of Cain. Maybe some of these Bone Reapers were female in a previous existence. Hard to say. Grab a couple other random models. So we're going to use these in some other system. A Reaper Human. WizKids D&D figure. And I'm looking for my Frostgrave guys, but they seem to have escaped the table. There you are. So I think this whole warband could probably find some good use. I mean, you've got almost the beginnings of a complete Frostgrave warband right here if you didn't even want to try Underworld. Obviously, everything you need to play is included in the box for this warband. And I gotta say, I, I like just the sheer variety of both figures, weaponry, styles of armor. We've got the more fancy guy, like, he's almost dressed more like the cavalry units. Uh, we've got the special weapons there, and we've got the big giant reaper dude ready to rock. And I have no idea what I did with the other similar looking guys for the OCR Bone Reapers. I know I've painted them too, but I don't know where they are. I searched all day prior to filming this, and finally I just gave up. Yep, I, I'm looking again. I don't know what happened to him. Anyway, overall, really cool looking group. 
uh, very visually distinct. And like I said, this guy just is absolutely awesome looking, and I'm sure people can find a use for him in all sorts of other systems, and you get a bunch of bony dudes smiling and having fun and, you know, wearing a big old toothy grin. So, yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to track down the Crimson Court. Still want to get those, and maybe we'll even grab the Mad Mob and the Fish Elves while we're at it. So stick around. We will probably have even more Warhammer Underworlds sooner or later. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamburlaine with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.